What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to the Impatient in PlayStation VR. Last time got shot at by some crooked cops. What a surprise. And now I think I am maybe close to the end? Maybe not. We'll find out. We just have to get to the second floor! We're almost there! We're gonna make it! <sighs> Hurry up! We've got to get out of here! Oh my god! What the... What the fuck was that? Are you okay? Yeah. So... Something went different here, because he got shot last time, and he died last time, and I don't know that I hit anything different, but apparently I somehow made things happen differently, so I guess my apologies on that being different, because what even, what is happening? Like, he totally got shot last time, like, what? I'm so confused. Just load faster! Well, that's weird because you totally got shot and you totally got eaten and I apparently hit the different buttons this time and it turned out differently. So that's really bizarre. But be that as it may, I guess we changed an outcome accidentally because it didn't save me right there. Like it didn't save me there. So now I'm here instead. So I had to replay part of it and that's always annoying when it doesn't save you after what you would imagine would be a load screen. So, there's that. I'm sorry. I cannot allow you to leave this map. He's infected. He's infected. No. No. I suppose not, huh? Never should have listened to Bragg. You knew we were kicking the hornet's nest. Go. I'll operate the cable car. You should get as far away from me as you can. Into the car. Into the car. Oh, there's the button for the car. Okay. Uh, cable car. Cigarette. Lockers. Can I open? Nope. Arms freaking out. No. Ah, I wanted to... Fine. Fine. I feel like this is going to be a false ending and there's going to be some other nonsense here that's going to happen instead. So that's going to be weird. But also, you totally died and totally got shot. So I kind of want to see how it's going to play out. But now it's going to be all different and that's annoying all right all right all right all right show it to me show it to me like the pines nice to know that all are welcome even hot shit reporter oh here's this there's the camera hi not a word of me in your story or there's no deal oh okay all right elevators over here yeah I mean, is this the end of the game? Like, seriously? Like, otherwise... I don't know. Let's just get in and find out. Let's get in and find out. Did I beat the game? Better do it. Hit the button. Hit... Hit the button, Ted. Thank you. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Hi. Can't move my hands, so, like... What a goddamn story you got. Was it worth it? What now? Is it over? <laughs> no. It's a mountain. So many, many lives cut short. And for what? Bye. Okay. Oh. I fell asleep again. I blacked out. What happened? Oh no. What's happening? Why am I standing up? I hear the sirens from those crooked police who want to erase all witnesses. And wait now, what? Is that the end of the game? I beat the game? That's it? 
I guess I did because I got trophies here. That's a going to be a short episode. So, what? That's the that's the whole thing. Really? I wonder. I mean, it's got branching paths. So I wonder. I wonder what. Okay, but. That was it? That was your big ending? And I'm here with the doctor's things, and they really didn't really explain much of anything at the end? Like, that was a very... I would say that I would... The patient, you. I would say very unsatisfying ending to that. A very promising start, and I have to wonder what the differences are as you play through them in different paths and make different decisions, so perhaps the ending can be more bombastic or more, I don't know, just any kind of interesting, any kind of intriguing something, just explain a little bit of what the hell happened there, outside of, hey, the cops wanted to erase it and we all got in that cable car and then just left, we just left, and I'm like, that's just kind of a bummer to be honest. So maybe I got the bad ending? I don't know. I'll have to look at my trophies and see what they say. But I don't know what else to say about that. That was the impatient, I guess. I can send it back to Gamefly. I'm not playing it again. Uh, I typically don't play any games outside of roguelikes multiple times because I just don't have the time. Even if it's like a two-hour game, that's still two hours and two hours. I think that whole opening in VR over and over again is not super appealing, especially... Because this game does not have, like, a checkpoint system. So I can't just load up a midway save file and start from the beginning, right? So, here's a fun fact. Uh, episode 5 was filmed twice. Because I had a capture issue where my capture was all goofy and, like, I'm look I, I, I can't see it's all goofy because I'm in the headset. So, I finished the video for a half an hour. I go look at the footage. Oh. Literally unusable because my, my capture gear glitched out, right? So I had to play an hour of the game again and then re-record chapter f or episode 5. So just a little bit of backstage stuff on what goes on here on this show for you guys. Like, I wasn't going to stop playing the game, but I had to sit here for an hour just in the headset just getting back to and literally making every single choice the exact same way so the game would play out as it was intended to. I had to write it down, sit here like this, and just read. It was a nightmare. But I did it for you guys. So, that's the impatient, I guess. Again, it started out very promising. And I guess the choices I made ended up with the most boring ending? Or perhaps the best ending, because uh, those two didn't die that time. Where they had obviously got shot and died before... And that's just gone now because I hit different buttons on the elevator. And I didn't know that hitting different buttons on, on, on the elevator would give you different choices. I just kind of hit buttons at random because it's, you know, VR. It's It gets funky and weird. So, there was that. Uh, I'm going to wait here to see if there's any kind of a post-credits anything. And then wrap it up. Oh, hello. Look at me. I'm a reasonable man. So let's get down to business. You say you saw all sorts of bad stuff up on Blackwood Mountain. But I say you broke into a reputable institution under false pretenses. Who do you think people are going to believe? Um. You murder them. I know what I saw. Yeah. I mean, sure, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it's not like I can let you publish any of it, can I? True. Yeah, that's right. I know all about you. Your editors have been worried sick. As much as I'd like to see you just uh, disappear, this puts me in a bit of a squeeze. And I don't like to be squeezed. Now, what story are we going to tell our editor, hmm? I'll say nothing. I didn't see anything. Silent act only goes so far. I need you to tell me what you're going to do. 
But there are monsters up there! Butterfly! You're delusional. Do you hear yourself? This won't do. I'm sorry, but for your own good, I have to recommend that you be institutionalized. Oh, and I got pistol whipped. So basically, I was there as a reporter investigating Blackwood, and then I ended up... I see it now. Oh. It's so simple, it's so easy. Hi. And then I became a monster or something. I don't know. But I got more trophies. That's cool. Anyway, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. See you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.